Holy shit. There's no way. I've just been AFK collecting tiles. I was just getting some for the start of episode 17. I've not even done an intro yet. And I've got a heron. Jesus, I didn't even notice, right? I've been AFK, look. <laughs> I got it. I got an in CC, 1 million XP. Everyone's chatting. And then I just didn't notice. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, that's 20 tiles. Let's add them on now. Man, I really, 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 really wish that this wasn't at the beginning of an episode. That would have been sick. Oh man, I actually got a pet. That is incredible. I didn't expect that on this account at these stats. Well, hi everyone. Welcome to episode 17 of the Tileman series. Now, as you can see, I've got a pet. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. So I'm just sat here collecting tiles because I think what I'm going to do is do some hunt of this episode and do some more gardens of the rift so i want to do lost city and get cosmic runes unlocked and then do some hunter but i might do aerial fishing so i can unlock shares and get them armor pieces but <laughs> either way i have a pet this is great i can't believe this is that i weren't even gonna make an intro to like 400 tiles but this is it hope you enjoy the episode guys because i know i'm gonna today's gonna be a good day oh i'm still so happy that i got this Looks like I'm going to have to go get some spirit flicks to metamorphosize it. Another excuse to do Tempros at least. I love him. I do prefer the blue one though, the great blue heron. So I am going to have to get back to Tempros soon and get some more spirit flicks. So I used them all in the angler outfit. Anyway, I've got the heron on like my hardcore as well. Not my main, but on my hardcore, I've got the heron. I got it at Karambwans, 1 in 170,000 chance. This is like 1 in 461,000 chance for a trout and salmon spot. That is insane. I'm definitely making him my little mascot now. He's adorable. It's a shame that I didn't make pets more than 20 tiles in it. I just never imagined that I'd get one so early, but collection looks lots of collection looks lot. But you're more than that. You're my heart. I've just been reading the reaction from my clan mates. And Bong, you cheeky fucker. Currently AFK getting pegged. You got a camera in my house. I knew it. Okay, now that I'm over the pet drama and I've AFK'd for a bit, we've got 463 tiles available. We've hit 78 cooking, which is huge for the account. I want to do some hunting this episode. I want to get at least 59 for red salamanders. And how we're going to do that is we're actually going to go to Zaya and hopefully these tiles can get us enough to start aerial fishing. That should get us some more fishing and some hunter experience. It's only like 20 to 25k hunter an hour, but it beats catching birds and I don't want to unlock anything like falconry yet or, or in salamanders. So I think this is an okay way to go. Also, there's quite a lot to do in Shazian, including an agility course, which we need five agility to access, but you know. And here we are, back on Kuren, but this time we've got a pet. Now, this is going to use a lot of tiles. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, that was pretty shit. But we're going to run down to where we unlocked Arceus, I think. So we're going to run down to here and unlock the castle. We're going to try and be efficient with this. So we need to get to the boat here to get to the island for aerial fishing. We could go to one of the other ones, but I don't think we really need to. I need to unlock, if possible, the bank at Shazian. The catacombs of Kuren, because that's going to be absolutely huge for the account, like honestly. I don't really need to unlock the bank or the altar inside the castle yet, just really the catacombs. And then we're basically just heading straight through to the island. We can try and unlock the upper side to get like the chasm of fire, the fairy ring when we unlock them and stuff like that. But let's just see where we get to. Let's get going. We started with 463 tiles. I imagine this is going to use almost all of them, but we'll get a lot of experience back aerial fishing. That's the catacombs unlocked. Now the question is, do we go west out of the castle or do we go south? South gets us close to the mess hall, the Hasidious kitchen and Watson. So it could be useful for the future. But I'm not quite sure which way is better because going west takes us close to Lovakeng. I think we'll go south for now and just stick to the path. Already at 100 tiles used. I'm going to try and be smart here and take a cut through the Shazian arena here, the combat ring. Because this is 500 tiles worth of collection log slots, there's 25 pieces of armour. Now I can't do it until I've got some further already, which is done around like here. It is going to be worth the unlock because going straight up through there in the long term is going to get us 500 tiles back, which is amazing. Close enough. Next stop's the bank chest, up here. I've used a lot of tiles, nearly 300. You have a look at the path, it's quite a long one. That small area is 300 tiles, that's insane. But just the combat ring existing makes this worth it. Because like I said earlier, in the collection log slots, you get 25 just for defeating the Shazian combat experts. 
that's 500 tiles. And I'm not excluding these or anything, these are tiles that I can get. Technically getting to here, I'm profiting 200 tiles. It's just that I need probably protect from melee or to flinch him. And I need to go spend some time getting favor, which I might do soon. Maybe even this episode. But for now, on to aerial fishing. Still got 160 tiles left, we should get there fine. And here we are. I finally get to ride Boaty, this has been my dream. Well, here we are on the island. Now, 85 tiles should be enough for basically this entire thing, but I've still got to be a little bit careful. And to start with, I've got to grab some worms. Ugh. Let's get fishing. Now, the cool thing about this is all these are collection log slots as well. Obviously, we don't need the angler's outfit, but when we do get enough pearls, or if we do, obviously the fish sack's kind of out of reach. But these fly fishing rods are on the collection log slot and the golden tanks that we can get from the mini gamers as well. So coming here is not totally useless and I think it's beneficial because we're going to get both fishing and hunter experience. We'll probably go to about 59 hunter because I love red salamanders and that's probably what I'll do till dragon imps. But we'll see how it goes. Oh, cool. And that's also a medium task in the current and Cabos area. Didn't even know that. Added 15 tiles on. Let's carry on. Now, as you can see, these aren't much experience to catch. 12 fishing, 17 hunter or close to that. But it adds up, you can catch up to like 1600 an hour if you're efficient at it. I'm probably not going to be fully efficient, but I will be doing this straight to 59 Hunter from now. It should be around 20k Hunter, maybe 15k fishing XP an hour. Uh, so we'd be getting like 35 tiles an hour. And then soon, we're going to be on to the tile scaling. Now on the topic of tile scaling, I sent out a straw poll last episode. It had like 40 people I think respond. And it was just picking between the old scaling of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5,000 and the new scaling, which are increments of 500 instead. Almost all of you, everyone but three people, picked the new scaling. So on that note, when the tile scaling happens in 700k XP, it's not going to go to 2,000 XP a tile, it's going to go to 1,500. And thanks to everyone who voted, and it means a lot that you're trying to get interactive with this series. And it helps me out a lot, because it lets me know what you want to see. So I'll probably run some more polls in the future. Genuinely, thank you. And back to this. We did get our first mulch pearl, which is nice. 99 to go for a collection log slot. Just hit 75 fishing. And it's worth noting that, yeah, Hunter's gonna be slow doing this. It's gonna, it's like three to 400 even for one level at 46. So I'm gonna be catching like 10,000 of these, but we do unlock some more soon. We actually get Tench at 51. Also, let's show you an insane drop. Now, this is probably the rarest drop that I've seen a clan mate get. If I could scroll up a little bit, you ready? Funny feeling like it would have been followed. They've already got the pet in 771 kills. And Armadillo Hill in the same drop. That's like a 1 in 2.5 million odds or something. I wonder if that's the first time that's happened to Armadillo specifically. Has there even been 2.5 million kills there? I don't even know. That is crazy. First hunter level. Just hit 50 hunter. One more level away from the tank here. Now, I've also got 23 of these mulch pearls. The first collection log slots at about 100. Now, 50 hunters is normally great because you get eclectic imps and that's medium clues unlocked for an Ironman, basically. A really good way to grind them, but I've not even done Lost City. I'd have to catch them bare-handed in the overworld and that requires 60 hunter because I've not got a butterfly net yet. And there's 51 hunter. Now, we can catch common tench on Mulch Island. We have the 56 fishing requirement. Should speed it up by quite a bit because I'm, it's 45 hunter XP per tench. Now, obviously, they're going to be a lot less common than bluegill, but whenever one comes in, it's like three bluegill in one nearly, so happy days. So, you're yeah, one in if we got six tanks, so it should help out a lot. The next aerial unlocks at 68, so we are quite a while away, but we're going to be moving away from aerial fishing by then anyway. Just hit 53, Hunter. We can now catch Ching Chompers. Now, obviously, we can't do that until Eagle's Peak, but we have got access to some on the Isle of Souls. So that is definitely an option soon for range training. Because if I could do Monkey Madness or something, that's going to be some hella fast XP for tiles. Membership ran out, so before we get back to aerial fishing, let's try doing these clues. Falador and Varrot. So we're going to do the beginner first, which includes wasting 30 tiles to speak to the apothecary. And it's a Charlie step. Let's go see what it is. Trout achieved. Gotta run all the way around again. Ugh, this is the only bad thing about the Varrock path in. Ooh. Weren't recording, but that was the casket. Two step beginner. And still no unique in 10 beginner clues. What can we do? Well, easy. We're gonna get Port Serim fishing shop. It's not too far away from my tiles. Yeah, I'm gonna go do this. Okay, step number three. That's funny. Straight back to the hairdressers. 
Oh, if this is a casket, this is the best clue in the world. I used like 40 tiles maybe for that port serum shop. I don't mind one more. Casket. Oh, easy clue complete. So for the easy and the beginner, I'll add eight more tiles on. There we go. And unique. Black pickaxe counts. And isn't that my best in slot pickaxe now? Because I think I've only got a steel. That's great. But we get a collection log slot. Finally, we've got a clue collection log slot. 20 tiles added. The walk back to aerial fishing is terrible. I've got a TP to Lummy, walk to Port Sarim, and then walk from Port Piscarillus all the way over to Shazian. Jeez. Just hit 50 mulch pearls. So we're halfway towards a collection log slot. And there's our first fishing level. 76, we can now harpoon sharks. Could be useful for the future if we start doing some bossing. Now, we are halfway through 58 hunters, so we are nearly done. We've only got 78 mulch pearls, so we won't hit the collection log slot at 100. But I am going to come back here in the future for it anyway, because I might try getting the golden tench. And we're 8,000 catches in and we've not got it, so obviously not unlucky. It's a 20,000 drop rate, but would have been nice to get. And here we are, 59 hunter finally. We can now trap red salamanders. And we're not going to be doing birdhouses for a long time, so I don't care about that for now. We did 8,487 catches. Now, that's a lot of catches. I weren't doing it super efficient, so it took me around nine hours, which is quite a while, but on a two-week upload schedule, this is the kind of stuff I can do. So that's a benefit, and I still love my little pet. I wonder if I could introduce him to the squirrels from where I came from. It'd probably eat them. <laughs> I do want to get the spirit flakes for him at some point. Anyway, we've got 88 mulch pearls. We kind of spooned some at the end, so we are only 12 off a collection log slot. I'm not going to get them now, but when I get a higher hunter level and can come back and catch the other fish, then I think I will come back to get some collection log slots. For now, let's go think of something new. So I've got a plan for some quests and some collection log slot grinds this episode. I do want a few more tiles first. I don't want to quite hit the tile scaling cap this episode, but I do want to get some more tiles before I go. So I think I'm going to go do some red salamanders right now. But I'm going to do them for about 300,000 experience to put me just under 5 mil for the scaling. And then I can go do the quests, get the XP rewards, and then we can sort the scaling out next episode. Sounds like a good idea to me. Ooh, got a freaky forest random. I think this might be my first one. Yeah, we've not got any tiles in here. Five tile random event, not bad. Oh wait, I've got to actually exit. Can I log out? I can't, can I? Ah, oh, well. Okay, 16 tiles, and we've got a lid hose on top, so we've profited, and then every time we get that, we're actually going to get some more. Oh, we've finally got some more random events that aren't just beekeeper. That's so good. 20 tiles added on, so we're four up. Nice. Rope achieved, went and got some from Neddy Boy. We'll put Mr. Heron in his own tab so he don't eat the salamanders. Can't have that. Fishing nets got. Let's get to Castle Wars. And let's begin. So we're not 60 hunt yet, so we can't actually lay four traps at a time yet, so we'll just be using these three. Now, every red salamander catch is 272 experience, and that's a hard task. Oh, oh I didn't even consider that. That's huge. But yeah, every salamander is 272 experience, so every four at the minute is a tile. It's absolutely incredible. And it's, it's going to be under 100 for a level at the minute. So we're going to do this, like I said, for just under 5 mil XP. Ugh, 666. So we're going to be doing it for about 300k. Just added those 30 tiles on before I forget, because I know what I'm like. And here's level 60, Hunter. Took about 20 minutes. We're on 75k experience an hour. But we can now place four traps. I'm just going to click, and whatever marks, marks. And now we've got four. It should speed it up a lot. I should be getting over 80k an hour now. Just caught an earth imp that flew by and got a fire talisman. I guess I'll just keep that. I don't think I'm really going to have a use for it, and I could always get it from Guardians of the Rift Shop, but it's there. I seem to have lost a rope somewhere. Anyways, 61 hunter, nice. 900 total as well. 62 hunter, 63 hunter, can now catch red chins. Now obviously we need to do Eagle's Peak for the box traps, but be a good method of range training to collect some tiles really quick, especially when the scaling goes up. So I'm an idiot and forgot to record it, but I hit 65 hunter and that's where I'm leaving it. We can now catch magpie imps. We're gonna leave it there for now. We're 100 and 33,000 away from the first tile scaling, which we'll probably get next episode. First thoughts, questing. Now, I want to do Lost City, because that unlocks Cosmic Runes for Guardians of the Rift, and it unlocks easy access to Puro Puro. I don't need the quest to get to Puro Puro, it's just easier to. 
Also, I really want 43 prayer, but I don't want to go about it by grinding loads of things again. So I'm eyeing up Holy Grail. Now that requires Merlin's Crystal as well, so I'm not sure how many tiles it'll use, but they are both intermediate quests, so I will get quite a lot back. So, I think we're going to go try Merlin's Crystal first, because we've actually got access to Camelot Teleport now. Now, this quest requires combat, so this is me kitted out, looking good, with a beard sticking through the helm. We also need bread. Now, the best way for me to get bread that's tile efficient, I think, will be thieving it from the Ardy stall. But I need to get to Ardy. My minigame teleports on cooldown. But we need to use a lot of Cathaby and Camelot for these quests anyway. So I'm just going to run down to the charter ship. And that way we've got a permanent unlock that we've not got to wait for the minigame timer for. And we can actually just teleport to Cammy whenever we want to go get a boat. I am a little bit of an idiot and I could have just house portal to Remington to get there. But, like I said, the tiles are going to be used anyway. Maybe not the ones onto the docks, but... Eh, that might be one of the first mistakes that I've made. And there we go. Easy task in the RD area. So that's five tiles. Sometimes when I'm not going from directly, I do forget that these are tasks. And there's the bread. Let's go start the quest. Oh my god, beekeeper event. We still need the boots, I think. Come on. Yes, and there's the boots. Now, I think that's every beekeeper item, so I'm going to stop doing that random event. I mean, I can still get flex from it, I think, but don't get me tiles, does it? Tell you what, random events have been popping off lately on here. I'm actually starting to get some slots. This is kind of annoying, because this part of the quest is like a one-time use of tiles. But it's got to be done. And there's 49 strength. I think I overprepared for this fight. I've used these extra tiles just to get some bat bones. Bucket of wax got. That's all the items. The main reason that I want to do this in Holy Grail is because the XP that I get from Holy Grail basically gets me 43 prayer, which would be really good. I think I'd be like a thousand off. Ooh, I forgot I have to unlock some Metavoli for this quest. Herblore could be on the card soon, and that would mean we've only got two more skills level one. And finally, at the quest end. Now, that's an intermediate quest, which means that's 75 tiles, and we're down about 300. I don't think we've got enough to do another big quest like that, so let me have a think about what to do next. Now, we have two charges left on the Necklace of Passage, and one of these is to the outpost. Now, this puts us just southwest of the Gnome Stronghold, and eventually we'll need uh, Jarl for a quest anyway. But, it does give us a way to actually get to the Gnome Stronghold agility course, and we should have enough tiles to go there and actually do it. And here we are. We've still got over 100 tiles left, which is nice, but... Agility officially unlocked. That's a scam that it makes you use tiles for actually stepping over the obstacles though, what the hell? Scam game. Let's hope that 100 gets us through the entire course, it should do. Oh, it uses tiles on the tightrope as well? Jeez, I don't know why it didn't mark that one, but I'm not going to mark it and I'll just wait to see if it does. It even marks the inside of the pipes! Two agility and an easy task. Tiles added. I'm going to stay here till 13 agility so I can do the Lost Tribe quest. Now obviously I've not got the tiles for that anymore, but I do think this was still a worthy unlock anyway because we've finally got agility. When I'm 13 agility, after I've collected some more tiles next episode, I'm going to go do the Alcarid course. That's because the Mark of Grace is a collection lock slot item. And it gets from the Achievement Diary, so I may as well. Plus, this maxes out at about 8k an hour if I had run energy all the time, which I seem to not. So I'm getting about 7k an hour here. So the Alcarid one will be better. I will stay here till 13, and then we'll move on. The plan is, get enough tiles for the Lost Tribe quest, finish it, and then go and range some monsters for a bit. And there's 13 agility. Just gonna finish this lap. Whew. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. I'm in the middle of a heatwave right now, and I can't cope in my office. So we're gonna go do a few achievement diary tasks, and then we're gonna end the episode here. And then we'll do Lost Tribe at the beginning of the next episode. First stop, Zamorak Mage. There's an easy task. There's another easy. Now, this one's a little trickier, because I've got to cut this yew tree and then go upstairs in the church to burn the log. Gravedigger. Ooh, this is worth it. I don't know what it is with randoms lately, but they've just been so good to me. Yes, two more. That's awesome. 40 more tiles added. That's insane. My random luck has been so freaking good this episode, man. I don't know why, but I will take it. Let's get back to this. Not sure if I profited tiles off this, it's about even I think. But there's a hard task, that's 30 tiles back. Ooh, Wild Eclectic Imp first, I can barehand these now. Oh, planks, not bad. Okay, here we've just got to chop and burn a willow. There's the chop, and I'll burn it over here so I don't waste a tile. Wait, 
Am I an idiot? Chop and burn some willow logs in Tavoli. Wait, what? That's what I've just done. Does this not count as Tavoli? Well, it must do because I got the diary task. What? Is it because that area that I just burnt them doesn't count? Let's try going down here. That's bizarre. Well, there's the medium task. I guess it's because the chunk might just separate here. I'm not sure. Still very weird. Right, and we've got one more to do. Okay, and the final achievement diary task is cut and burn a willow in Draenor. Oh, just chop. My apologies, no burn. Well, there we go. Medium task completed. Now, while we're in Draenor, I have got a lot more tiles than I thought from doing these diaries. So, I think I will have a crack at this agility course for the rest of the episode. Let's see if we've got enough tiles. I'm hoping so. See, it's weird. The tight ropes and stuff don't mark tiles on rooftop courses, but they do at the Gnome Stronghold. But rooftops were added later, so they'll probably code it a bit differently. It's really interesting. Right, let's keep going till 20 agility. And there's the Marker Grace. So it's really weird how Marker Graces work, but when one spawns, you get the collection log slot, which means there's going to be a Marker Grace on this course here. And there it is. And I'll keep doing this for a minute. Oh, also, easy task. Completely forgot about that. There we go, tiles added. This has been a hell of an exit on an episode. Jeez. What if I got like seven achievement diaries, four collection log slots? This has been crazy. Let's end it off with 20 agility and then call it a day. And here is 20 agility, ladies and gents. And that's where we're going to call it. So we've now got the Alcarid course unlocked. These are our stats. We've got quite a few gains this episode, I'm not going to lie. Next episode, we'll no doubt be doing more Hunter because every time we need more tiles, I'm going to use Red Salamanders for it now until we get to Dragon Imps because it's going to be hugely beneficial. And having Dragon Imps means we're going to get a Glory pretty soon, I hope. And it's just going to be a laugh to go around catching them for an episode. Well, in an episode. Anyway, that's it for now. Love you and leave you. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you watched all the way through and you're not subscribed, please consider it. Bye.